So I watched Alien Romulus, and I honestly loved it. It's a fresh and creative return to this franchise, with great acting, great set pieces, and a few callbacks to the previous movies. The only Alien movies I've seen before Romulus are the first Alien and Prometheus, and you know, but from what I've heard, Covenant is similar to Prometheus in that it is just different from the whole franchise. It explores the lore of the Xenomorph and the journey of David, the android who created the first Xenomorph we see in the first Alien movie. The original Alien movie is definitely the best, but I did really like Prometheus. Romulus, on the other hand, is much more similar to Alien than it is to Prometheus. It brings the franchise back to its simple roots. It's just, you know, it's just a creepy alien on the ship that the crew members need to survive from. The visuals in this film are amazing. Every shot is colourful, the framing is perfect, and the atmosphere it creates is just incredibly eerie. This is easily the best looking alien movie yet. The sound design is also top notch, and the music adds to the atmosphere, and the blend of visual and practical effects for the xenomorph is perfect. And all these elements, they just add up to create the most immersive movie in the entire franchise. Because there are times where the world in Romulus, it feels just almost scarily real. Kaylee Spaney gives one of my favourite performances of the year. I mean, her acting feels just almost natural. It, it, she's just an incredible character. But the real standout is David Johnson, who portrays Andy, a, a robot. The way he effortlessly switches between two personalities, I mean the small mannerisms he has in incredibly you know, stressful situations, just all of it is just perfect. Katie Spaney's reign is my favourite character of the film, but David Johnson gives my favourite performance by a mile. The set pieces are also incredible. I won't spoil anything, but my favourite scenes involved Xenomorph Blood, an elevator shaft, a locked room with water on the floor, and some face huggers in a corridor. You've probably seen the one with the, you know, water on the floor, because it has the infamous line now. I'm not playing around, I'm swimming in the water. Tom North Jackson, gotta be honest, brilliant stuff. Pure, true cinema, that was. And also the entire third act is just absolutely insane. As, as this film has, some of the best action of the past few years. The big argument about this film are the references to previous films. But I, I didn't really mind them, you know, overall this movie is kind of just, you know, like a mix of the first two Alien movies and they do say a few lines from those films, literally directly quoting them. But Romulus is still a creative and original movie that holds its own and it doesn't just feel like a copy of, you know, Aliens or Alien. The only part that was kind of weird was bringing back a certain character with animatronics and AI. This will probably spoil the character, but I mean, Michael Fassbender's David, he is still alive in this film's timeline, so they could have just used him, and they didn't really need to bring back this actor that has already you know, passed away. It didn't really bother me too much, since you know, his family was okay with it. All in all, Alien Romulus is a great return to the franchise's roots, you know, an incredibly enjoyable and scary ride. And, you know, it has some of the best acting and set pieces of the entire franchise. Alien Romulus gets 4.5 stars. It's not the best film in the franchise, but it is just a really good time for fans of the franchise. And it fits in the timeline. But it's also a great standalone film. So, you know, new fans of the franchise, you can watch this without, you know, needing to watch and know the previous six films of lore. Yeah, this is going to be my top five of 2024. So, but yeah, that's all I got.